Hello and welcome back to the vlog. On this episode, I will uh, try to get my feet wet uh, on a little kit bashing. Uh, I actually found this on a, a flea market sale and uh, we're gonna try to be building bootleg Legos. Uh, mind you, uh, disclaimer, these are not um, originals. I just bought them for, I don't know, 3 euros back then, like a year back. I never uh, really um, got my way into building it. Uh, now that everyone's in quarantine, I hope everyone's staying at home, we're gonna try, uh, you know, kit bashing this time. Uh, welcome to the vlog. Okay, hello everyone and welcome to my very first attempt at um, uh, kit bashing. Uh, first off, um, I want to shout out uh, Adam Savage again for um, you know introducing me on the world of uh, kit bashing. Uh, right now, I uh, I'm showing um, the bootleg Legos that I bought, and then uh, this process I actually got um, from a tested channel. It's called Nolling. It's um, choosing and putting everything that you need uh, together. Okay, here I am being a jerk. I just ripped the manual. It's a manual instructions. Okay, so first you need to take. Um, I, I need to consider uh, what I want to build. So um, I decided on building the the wraith from from Starcraft. Uh, here I'm just getting the basic shape, uh, the biggest pieces, and um, you know what would work. The hinges. I want I, I want my uh, my wraith to actually have like a, a couple of moving parts. So here's the the body. Okay, we have the the cockpit. I know it's not the the, the same uh, per se. But um, you know it works. Just use your imagination. So um, here, I'm still um, selecting small bits and pieces that I might be using. Look, I'm here on that on that process. I uh, I just want to make sure that um, I get the basic shapes right, the structure. Uh, here I'm cutting a, a piece of uh, styrofoam because unfortunately that kit didn't come with um, large pieces that I can use for wings. So uh, here I made sure um, that my styrofoam piece is actually square. I did the central measurements uh, so I could have um, two equal sides for the wings. Of course, they are a pair. They actually need to um, look like a pair and uh, be as close to identical as possible. Uh, here I'm uh, drawing the line so I actually have um, an angle who wants a straight wing. Uh, when you're spacey so here I'm not really looking for a function I'm looking for uh, aesthetic so uh, here I'm cutting the, the styrofoam as you can see we do have like a pair now uh, the rate swing is it's not actually straight it, it, it goes up and uh, it has a dip so it goes up and down so I need to do my um, cut right here uh, unfortunately I need to cut an angle so I did a 45 degree angle I just measured the, the, the thickness of the styrofoam uh, did a measurement on the exact same thickness and cut those two lines to uh, make um, the angle now um, on this part I'm um, I think I'm yeah on this part I'm cutting the the, the fin the wraith is actually a, a three wing vehicle if you might say uh, uh, two of them are the wings and one of them is the lower fin that uh, I guess would uh, you know help it in its movement so the fin I believe uh, holds the gun the big cannon gun but um, yeah 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 sorry sorry now here I'm um I think these are the back fins. Yeah. On this part I'm cutting the back fins. I just used uh, another Lego to outline it, divide it by 2. Right there so I get two identical pieces. Uh here I'm uh, using a uh, super glue. Uh CA, good old CA, cyanoacrylic. Uh, it does melt the styrofoam so be careful so I just place like uh, a drop 
on each side uh, there was a problem there was a, a, a structural issue it's not actually holding strong so what I uh, ended up doing at the end I actually used hot glue to uh, keep it because hot glue actually has some uh, some give to it so this part I'm um, attaching the wings to the hinges there we are uh, just a drop you don't need to overdo it it's good it's gonna melt the styrofoam real quick so here's um, what I guess would be uh, uh, the wing gun attachment so I uh, he, this part I attached the wing the wings uh, here I got a piece of straw because I couldn't find um, a cylinder you know thick enough to uh, be the rates um, now how, how would you call it? booster yeah booster um, I uh, attached the fins and attach it to um, the body of the race right there and then uh, oh these are tattoo cartridges because um, uh, on the sideline I actually tattoo so I use the, the the used cartridges don't worry it's it had it had been washed and uh, disinfected uh, here I'm uh, attaching everything I'm actually putting extra support okay so it's almost done uh, last thing is I need to put like uh, an engine ventilation in the back so I got like uh, a small piece of the Lego uh, attached it to the back and of course I need to put some uh, wing detail so uh, I got like this small coffee cup filter uh, stuck it both so it looks like a heli and I'm done that's the finished product hope you enjoy This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what I built. Yeah, I know. It's really not the same. I want to give a quick shout out to um, Adam Savage on Tested. You should check them out. They actually have a great channel. They, they The guy actually introduced me to the world of kit bashing and um, uh, knolling. So I'm done with this model. Um, what do I think about it? I Actually, not bad for the first timer. Um, as you can see, I actually uh, used all the hinges. So it does have a, a park mode and it has a, a flight mode. Uh, this is actually a model based on uh, a Wraith in StarCraft. As far as I can remember, it's still uh, ongoing. The game is still on play on uh, the World Cyber Games in Korea and they are still using the original. So I think they remastered it or something. This model is actually 50% done. Um, I'm going to send it to a, a good friend of mine. Um, I'm going to give him a quick shout out. Pomp's Eye Tattoo. That's P-O-M-P-Z underscore E-Y-E. Uh, the guy's actually a genius in um, uh, airbrushing. So I'm going to get this prime. I'm going to get this airbrush. And then I'll be uh, doing the details. Uh, please subscribe if you want more of this um, content. Let me know. Until next time, this has been The Good Looking Guy. Peace.